Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to test the revamp Tanabi in a quick game here on Advanced Server. Based on the comment section, you guys have mixed reactions about her long-awaited revamp. Some like it, some hate it, while many expected a dash skill. Does she really need one? Let's find out in this game. So this is the build that I'll use, together with the marksman talent, Weapons Master. To give you a recap, her passive and first skill were swapped. Passive skill is the new source of her bouncing attacks, while her first skill gives shield, CC immunity, and movement speed. Life still was removed from her passive, but in exchange, all her skills will bounce, just like her basic attacks. They also increase the damage of her ultimate and second skill. One of the benefits of this new Hanabi is that at level 1, her basic attacks can already bounce 4 times. More bounce will mean more damage, especially when clearing minion waves. For unknown reasons, we have a marksman roamer that's helping me in my lane. Yep, username checks out. I still have to be thankful though because he bought a roaming item so that I can solo the resources. Shout out to you, Pasaway! So here is a first test of Hanabi's early game damage. Watch the bouncing effect of her second skill. We can definitely say her early game damage is a lot better now. Meanwhile, our team is getting bullied on the other side of the map, and the panda is back. One of the new features is that her second skill can no longer pass through minions. Right here, I could have easily killed Akai, but this minion is blocking the path of my second skill. I'm about to be stunned by 1-1, one -one, but luckily, I used my first skill shield. And that's one of the pros of her new first skill. You can have CC immunity when you need it, unlike before where it disappears after taking damage. The only problem is you can use it when the enemy strikes first. Let's try her damage again on level 6 against a fellow marksman. Not bad, right? But I do really miss the lifesteal. Having lifesteal means minus one item. But if you always stay in the back during team fights, you don't really need it. Another problem with the revamp Hanabi is that you can't push towers if an enemy hero is guarding it. You can't turn off the bouncing basic attacks, which means the tower will focus on you. Our Pesawai friend needs some help. One of the things that I discovered is that her first skill will grant movement speed after you use it. The skill description said you'll only get it after the shield is broken. So that means if you want to escape or chase somebody, you can use her first skill to speed up. That's like sprint and CC immunity on a single skill. The enemy Paquito is getting fed. Let's try 1-1 one -one again. I got owned by Wind of Nature. Maybe I should buy one. Here comes another team fight. Yeah, I really need to buy Wind of Nature. Paquito is way ahead with a 12-0 score. Wow, he hit! This 
history vamp Hanabi now becomes more useful in the early to mid stages of the game because of her skills. They now deal decent damage unlike before where she only has to rely on basic attacks for the entire game. Come here Pakito, I'm not afraid of you. I have wind After that embarrassing moment, the enemies are now inside our base and they've also taken the Lord. Good thing Hanabi is a late game monster. Right now, this new Hanabi still has no voice and we might be getting a new one soon. They can remove all her lines except for the swoosh effect because hearing that swoosh is like ASMR to me. Ha! Or maybe that's just me. Do you like that sound too? I'm ready for my wind chant this time. There you go, I finally used it properly. I think the developers did great in improving her early game potential. But like everything in the land of Dawn, there has to be balance. In exchange for high damage, she lost her lifesteal, permanent shield, and bonus movement speed from her passive skill. Are these changes enough to remove her off the worst marksman title? After destroying their middle tower, it's time to take the Lord. What can you say about the revamped Hanabi? Do you like the changes they made? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.